if we did not complete all of the assignments that were due within those 14 days, we would essentially be kicked out of the class. Today, I want to talk about what my experience was like during the first two weeks of boot camp. So I know in a lot of people's journey trying to figure out how they want to go about learning software engineering, a lot of times you come across boot camp and you want to know how is it what what were their experiences like so i definitely want to provide videos like these not only just the first two weeks but also videos of like my one month experience midway experience and then overall experience i would like to provide these to anyone who just wants to know what is boot camp like that way you can make the best decision to decide if it's something that you want to do so if you would like to know what the first two weeks of my boot camp experience was like Please continue watching. My first two weeks in boot camp would have not been how they were if I did not prepare beforehand. So before I even talk about how my first two weeks were, I have to talk about what I did to prepare because it was really important in um, the beginning of my boot camp experience. So essentially what I did was I did as much research as I could. At this point, I had already signed the contract. I had already committed to the school. So I was no longer researching to see if the school was the right fit for me. I was more so researching to see other people's experiences, what to expect. Also, because I had access to the curriculum, we received the syllabus, I wanted to brush up on the skills. That way I wouldn't be on a completely empty slate when I started because I had no coding experience prior and I knew that it would be very fast paced. The school told us plenty and plenty of times that it was hard to finish. So it was just really important for me to watch intro YouTube videos to kind of get an idea of how um, things would be. Luckily for me, my bootcamp provided free prep work and it was optional. You didn't need to do it, um, but they did provide free work for us to complete to basically prepare us for the bootcamp experience. And so along with that free prep work, just going on YouTube, trying to find other people who went through the program or blogs online, trying to just see what everyone else's experience was like so that I could understand what I would be getting myself into, that was really, really, really important for those first two weeks. And I will explain why. So going into the first day of boot camp, I was really excited. I was really happy. I was really motivated. Um, and it was a pretty, it was a great first day. I had a really kind instructor. She was great throughout, but um, she was definitely great during those first two weeks. So we started off with about 45 students and that number is really important, 45 students, right? Okay. On the first day, they wasted no time in telling us that we had a really big due date in two weeks. So starting from day one, we had 14 days, which was about two weeks, to complete a certain amount of coursework. If that coursework was not completed by Sunday, 11.59 p.m. on that 14th day, we would be held back. So we would be kicked out of the current class that we are in and the only other option from there is to wait for another class to begin whenever it would begin and join that class or um you could just maybe during that two weeks you realize okay you were dropped from the class maybe you realize this wasn't for you you could try to go ahead and get a partial refund but basically the fear was getting kicked out of the class right I did not want that for myself. But that was also one of the reasons why I joined boot camp. I joined a boot camp for that structure, for those deadlines and due dates that will hold me accountable to the things that I wanted to accomplish. So right on the first day, along with my excitement, my motivation, all my happiness to join, I was confronted with this deadline. So it really pushed me to have to be on top of my game. And that's why I say that the preparation that I did before those that boot camp even began was very vital to me surviving those first two weeks because what I realized was that free prep work that the school gave, the curriculum for those first two weeks were almost identical to the prep work that they gave. So it gave me an immense head start and a cushion and just 
a feeling of calmness um, because I had already seen the material before, but it wasn't just a matter of memorization or just remembering. I actually learned through the prep work that they gave me. So those that same learning that I did before the boot camp started, I was able to apply it within those first two weeks. So thankfully with that and you know just the hard work of doing the work that needed to be done within those two weeks i completed everything and i i did get to move on but like i said there were 45 students that started off with us i will say that within that first two weeks by the end of the second week i probably saw like five people end up dropping the class and it could have been you know, we don't know their personal situation. It could have been that they didn't complete all of the work on time. It could have been that they just realized that this wasn't for them. Maybe they decided that they needed more time. Whatever the case was, four, not four, sorry, about five people dropped. So that made it a lot more real for me that this was going to be difficult. But it also made it a lot more real for me in that I'm proud of myself that I was able to accomplish this and I will say fast forwarding to the end of the program which I'm at now fast forwarding we probably have like about 20 students so I would say more than half of the people ended up not making it through the entire program going back to my first two weeks i will say that it was definitely a great experience um but i got straight to work it was there were no more time for games and fun so it was it was right to it and that preparation work that i did beforehand was vital of course if you do have prior coding experience it might be a little easier someone like me i had no coding experience prior Actually, no, I did have coding experience prior. I just remembered I did take a course in college and we learned HTML and CSS. It was like an intro course though. Um, so I did have a little bit of coding experience, but I really don't count that because it was very like introductory and it was a few years prior. So I would say, even though I did have that experience, I would say that I, I was basically brand new so I think that's a tell sign for anyone who has not even touched, like if you don't even know what HTML and CSS is, please do some, some prep work beforehand just so you're not caught off guard. Well, that was pretty much my, my experience during those first two weeks. And um, like I said, I will definitely be making more videos walking through more of my experiences in boot camp. And so if you would like to watch those and also just stay posted with any of the tech related content that I do post, definitely subscribe, like this video so it pops up on your feed, my content. And also I would definitely appreciate any comments. Um, any questions, any video suggestions, I will definitely be open to all of those. And um, I'll see you next week.